It's a kickoff to fall, y'all. And what better way to do it than to do a classic Battle of the Box. I'm so excited to be hosting this collab. And what better box to do it on than the Thread Up DIY Scarf Box since we're moving into the fall season. So make sure you join us live in the chat and that you follow along to everybody's channel. I am kicking us off tonight. My name is Christina and I am a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, and The Real Real. Uh, following me will be Kristen with Kristen D Another Chance Resale and then Deborah with Timeless Jewel by Deborah, Jennifer, French Teacher NBA, Marilyn with Shady and Y, Lindsay with Lindsay Clark, and Amanda with Amanda Pruitt. So make sure you jump to everybody's channel um, as we go along. We will be live in the chat um, watching what each of us got and see who got the better box. And I will post the schedule down in the description so that you can follow along. Okay, so my box, came, now we bought these all on the same day. That's the other thing. We bought them all with the free shipping code because the box, you get quite a bit of scarves. I believe it's 24 for $16. I've only done this box twice. So, um, and I'm wearing a scarf from the first one that I did. And I've decided that this is one I'm not going to keep. It's not really long enough for me, but it's got like postage stamps and like birds on it. So I thought it was really cool. Um, when I unboxed it. So when I open this box, I'm hoping for some branded pieces um, and to look at the materials tags and hope for some good materials. So we all got ours on the same day, um, but I don't think they're all coming from the same warehouse. Mine's coming from Georgia. So that'll also be another interesting thing to, to see as we each open our boxes. So yeah, 24 DIY scarves, which I guess means some of them could be damaged. In the past, um, most of them were in good condition, so we'll see. And then the box was $16. Okay, so we've got the sealed tissue off the top. We'll get into this. Hope everybody had a great Labor Day holiday. I definitely enjoyed having an extra day off for sure. There we go. My son still had to have football practice, though, on Labor Day, even though he didn't have school. So that was kind of surprising. And it's hot here. So it's kind of funny. I'm, oh my gosh, these are all folded in here. All right, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to the first one here. We've got a plaid, really kind of thick, heavyweight scarf. Okay, it does have a tag. Um, it just says made in China. And then it's got the little plastic pull tag. It does have an RN number, so I will be able to look up the company that made it, so I will definitely do that. And this says it's 100% acrylic. But this is really long. I'm going to show you guys how long this is. <laughs> We're going to keep going. So that one is huge. So I will look that one up. It does have a tag on it, which is great. And then this one is kind of a lighter weight. It's got red with these black polka dots and a black and white stripe along the edge. It's really pretty. What's this? Okay, we have some sort of mark. This says so maybe so street south street linen. SouthStreetLinen.com, and it's got the washing instructions stamped right there. Okay, all right. We'll have to look that up and see um, what this is all about. I'm assuming that since they do linen pieces, it's 100% linen. Yeah, look right there. Okay, I'm excited about that. So I've got one I can look up. And one that's 100% linen and branded. So that's great. All right. We've got like a square, like silky type scarf. Um, it's got a, oh my gosh, I would have loved this back in the day. Look at this. Um, I used to wear these a lot actually um, to work. Uh, but it's got a typewriter and it says journal. 
and it's got like a little safari and it says Zambia at the bottom. I think this is really cool. I like this a lot, actually. I don't see any tags or anything like that, um, but I think that's neat. Next, we have another smaller one that's like the square. Uh, I don't see any tags, but I do see a mark on the corner. So we'll look at that and it's blue and it's got a little stain, but I think I can clean that up if it's worth it. Let's see. Okay, this is the little mark we have. I'm not familiar. It's got a little like bug right there, which is really cute. Maybe it says Vena. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. So I will have to do some research about that also. It's exciting. I wasn't really like, I think in my last box I did, maybe there were just two or three branded pieces. So it's kind of exciting that I'm getting some that are actually branded um, that I can try to like look up and research. Look at this one. This one is black with these really huge yellow like sunflowers. This one's really large. It does have a tag. It says in gear and then it says made in Thailand, 100% rayon. There's the tag right there. So another one I can look up. I had a box ready to throw donations into and I haven't thrown one in there yet. So that's great. All right, we've got another square scarf. It also has a tag. So, and this one's kind of a mustard yellow with a navy and a cream color edging. I think it's really pretty. This is 100% polyester. And I don't see any sort of branding on it. So this one will go to the donation. Okay, next, we've got kind of an animal print, not a classic animal print, but we've got an animal print kind of small square. I don't think in either of my boxes I got any of these small square ones that you tie around your neck. I really don't think I did. So that's interesting that I'm getting these now. No branding or materials tag on that one. Next, we have a true animal print here, and this one's very silky. I like it. Okay, we've got black edging, and then the animal print. I'm trying to see if there's a materials tag. It feels very soft. I don't see any. There's that one. Okay, now we've got, and by the way, the other boxes that I've done, I've gotten some clothing pieces in before. So it's not necessarily always scarves, right? It could be a shawl, it could be um, some of those like one size fits only wraps. I've gotten those before. I got a blanket one time, an Eileen Fisher blanket, which was pretty cool. So um, we'll see. All right, so this one is like a shawl where it's like the... Um, triangular cut and it's got this fringe along the edge and it's really pretty pink and I don't think there is a tag on this one but I will double check nope I don't see any sort of mark on that one which makes it really hard um, sometimes to you know resell right if you don't know what the materials are a lot of people, especially if it's wool or something like that, they're allergic or it's, you know, itchy to their skin. So as a reseller, it makes it kind of hard um, with the scarves if they don't have the tags. Anyways, look at the print on this one. Oh, and I love the tattered edge. Really pretty. I hope this one is marked because that would be cool. Well, there is something written on here. Esperando? I don't know. And someone made a mistake. They scratched a bunch of stuff out at the bottom here. So I don't even know what that says. I'm going to have to look that up. So I don't see a tag on this one. Um, 
but I am going to Google lens this one or look this one up because I think it's really neat. I like that there's writing on it and I really like this one. See if you guys can, I don't know which way to show you this. <laughs> it's frontwards and backwards. Hold on. I really like this. I have to show you. Okay. So we have the words that are like scratched out, but then over on this side, it says, learn to be happy. I love that. I have a sign in my entryway that says, choose to be happy today. So every time my kids walk by it or my husband, they have to see that. <laughs> and they have to make a decision. Okay, so next we have what looks to be like, you know, kind of a Burberry plaid print. It would be great if it actually was Burberry, but I don't think so. It's, def it's got a hole in it up here. If you can see that, I don't see any sort of branding or a materials tag. And of course, my phone is going off. That always happens when I'm filming, I feel like. So no tags on this one. Next, we have, this is perfect for fall with these colors, kind of an orange and a green with a brown. So again, I'm looking for the and I love these that have kind of the tassel edge or raw hem. I don't see any branding on this one either. I do like that one though. That's the problem. I actually do really like scarves and it's usually, it's like too hot here um, to wear them. <laughs> so I never wear them. Okay. Oh, okay. We've got it. We've got something here. All right. We've got, is this like a poncho, a wrap? I don't know. There's a hole in it. So I think it's like you put it over your head like this and then it goes over. So let's see if we see any tags. So it's our first piece of like clothing aside from the scarves. I don't see any sort of tags or anything, but that's pretty. Next, we have a real thick, like wintry one in like a blue knitted piece. I had some handmade ones in one of the ones I've done previously. I don't know that this is handmade, but that's really nice. It does feel like kind of rough to the touch. It's not really soft. So, okay. Let me try to get into this next bundle here. Ooh, look at this. We've got a sheer piece. It's got kind of some like string sewn into it. Very, very lightweight, sheer. No tags or anything on that one. Then we've got another animal print. How fun. And the edging on this one is like a velvet which is neat. And these are velvet. I like that. Okay. So let's see if we see a tag and this one's kind of also lined. There's like a separate, um, kind of lining on the back. If you can see that. So I like this one. No tag, unfortunately, but it's nice. Okay. And we've got a red square scarf. This one does have a tag, so we'll look at that. It's got little tiny white flowers on it. And this one does have an RN number. Looks very similar to that first one that I opened where it says made in China. The tag almost looks exactly the same. It'll be interesting to see if those RN numbers are the same. Okay, I'm getting like itchy. Okay. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Bright colors. All right, we've got yellow, blue, red, purple, like every color you can imagine. And it's got kind of that tattered edge. Let's see if we see a tag on this one. Nope, no tag on that one. 
And then this one looks like kind of a watercolor or something or smoke. It's really pretty. But it's kind of rough, like it's not soft. And I don't see a tag on that one either. Okay, next we have a black one that's got like wildflowers on it. And all different kinds of flowers. We've got roses. I don't know. I love outside. These are like sunflowers. <laughs> I don't know all the different kinds of flowers. But for any of you who watch my channel, you know I love like Alice in Wonderland. This reminds me of like the flower garden, right? All these different flowers. So um, I think that's cool. I don't see a tag on this one either. Man, I started off with a lot of tags and now I'm not really getting any tags. So I don't know. I'll have to go over these one more time because in the first box that I did, scarf box, um, the big winner for the box was a Johnny West scarf. And when I opened it, I didn't, there wasn't a tag. And one of my subscribers told me to double check it and it was actually embroidered in the same color on like the nape of the neck. And that's how I found out what that was. So sometimes you got to go over it, go over them twice. Um, this one's really interesting too. I know that you guys can't feel it through the screen, unfortunately, but the texture on it is really interesting. Um, it does have a tag. It says 50% wool and 50% viscose. And this one's dry clean only y'all. So that's kind of serious. There's the tag. It's black and red. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to try to look this one up too. I don't know how much luck I'm going to have. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of research. So hopefully I've got some more details that I'm telling you guys in the chat during the premiere of this about some of these scarves. Hopefully I found some more information. Oh, look, we got our first infinity scarf can't believe this is like the first one that we're getting okay let's see this one's a really pretty red and green let's see I don't think there's a tag on this one either sometimes the tag will be oh there is look right there okay it is 100% polyester there is an RN number so I will also look this one up Looks like we just have two more left. How did that go so fast? Okay. We've got this red fringy one. It's neat. And this one's also an infinity scarf. It does have a tag. It says D and B. 100% acrylic and made in China. So I'll have to look up D and B. I'm not sure about what that is. All right, last one. We've got a blue striped one that also has some gray and white in it. And has that kind of raw edge. Oh, and this is another infinity one. They left all the infinities for the bottom of the box. Those are kind of the ones that I prefer wearing um, because I don't really wear heavy scarves. Um, I do have some infinity scarves. I like them. Okay, let's see here. Don't think we have a tag on this one either. Nope, no tag on this one. Okay, well, let me know what you all think. Let me know if you have gotten a scarf box recently and how it was. And let's see who got the best box. Was it mine? It could be. I don't know. I have to do some research on some of these scarves. But go next and check out Kristen D at Kristen D Another Chance Resell. Her video will be up next. And follow us along. See you in the next one. Bye, y'all.